So I've just finished work. Now, I'm pretty friggin' annoyed, all right? The whole nut was going perfectly fine. Now, it was busy, okay? Now, when you're um, uh, the person in charge, when you're the duty manager, a lot of people come to you when they have their concerns because that's your job, okay? Now, I'm a firm believer about good customer service, okay? I, I don't think there's any excuse not to give good customer service. Anyway, these uh, this, this regular couple are there, you know, they're there with their mate and they're talking away. And, you know, I've had a conversation with this guy plenty of times. He was a really funny guy, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff like that. I got to him and I'm like, oh, um, hey, mate, what can I get you? And he goes, oh, I'll grab a uh, pint of pail and uh, blah, blah, blah. And at that moment in time, uh, one of my other staff members came to me and was like, oh, Nins, sorry, but this customer has a, you know, a complaint about their food. Can you please sort it out? And um, at that, you know, I'm, I turned around, like I was in, he, I was looking at him when he said that because that's pretty much what I do. I look, you know, like instead of like turning my head away, yeah, yeah, you know, while the customer's talking, I'll still hear what they're saying so I can, you know, kind of do two things at once. And so I'm like, yep, cool. I will then swap over with my workmate and um, get him to keep serving. Now, I was doing this all night tonight with other customers. Like, oh, um, yep, yeah, cool, give me one second. Hey, bloke, can you please just finish off this order? He, he wants a A, B, C, D. Cool, you know, so I'm not gonna leave the customer high and dry. No way. So I turned around and I said, oh, Thomas, this customer here, he's having a power, and then the customer arcs up. Oh, oh, nah, nah, fucking forget about it, mate. Forget about it. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm like, whoa, what's up? What's going on? Nah, nah, nah. Man, you just walked away from me. You just walked away from me. I said, actually, no, I didn't. I was actually in the process of telling my workmate here what you were having because I had to deal with an issue. And I was not just gonna walk away from you, hello. You know, like, that's just rude. And he goes, yeah, you fucking were. You fucking were. You were gonna walk away from me, you know? I said, you know what? What's your problem? Like, honestly, what is the actual problem here? I am trying to deal with a problem that a customer has an issue with her food. And so my workmate here um, is going to take over from me to get your drinks. No time has been wasted. So what is the actual issue? You know what? You know what? You don't turn your back. You don't swerve it. You're a fucking idiot. You are so rude. You're rude. All right? That was fucking rude of you. So uh, forget about it. Forget about it. I'm like, okay, all right. And I turned around and I served the customer. Now, I'm sorry, if you're gonna fucking threaten me and talk to me like a piece of shit, then I'm, I'm not gonna like, come here's your button. No, fuck you. Like, honestly, fuck you. Obviously, I can't really say that because that's just not right. But so I thought the best thing that I could do was just turn around, let my friend, you know, deal with um the rest of the orders because obviously he was gonna want a drink. In the end, he then ordered with him and, um, yeah, the customer that I was serving then had a genuine complaint about her food. It, um, and that had to be resolved because she wanted to eat it. So, it's like, you don't need to talk to people like that. You know, like, okay, granted, in that sort of situation, maybe my mate could have waited a tiny bit until he had finished placing his order. I'll give the... I'll give that guy who got upset the benefit of the doubt in that respect, okay? But when customers are a bit annoyed, you kind of be like, oh, oh, shit, you know what I mean? Like, especially to young, especially to young kids, you know, they, they panic a little bit, all right? So, because they don't want to, um, uh, how can I say it? They don't want to make anything worse of the situation by them just feeling blasé and shit like that. Anyway, but regardless and so then like his his wife comes to order food and i'm like okay normally for this couple they normally food, order food on the other side where they're not really supposed to but because we do it for them because they're regulars and i'm like <laughs> uh like shit that's gonna happen they're gonna come around to the other food side where everybody else has to order food you know you're gonna talk to me like a piece of shit but then expect special treatment nah doesn't work out like that so I think she realized that because nobody was going to take the food order. And so she came around to the food side and um, 
was saying something, blah, blah, blah. And um, she said something like, oh, I hope you're having a nice day. I said, I was. But, you know, we've just got such lovely customers here. And she goes, oh, look, don't, don't take it to heart. Don't take it to heart. I'm like, well, you know what? I did. I did take it to heart. Because nobody, nobody should talk to anybody else like that. There's no reason for somebody to talk to somebody else like that. If he had a fucking problem with what I did, he could have easily just waited and been like, excuse me, mate, can I just have a word with you? I didn't really appreciate with what you did then. I thought that was very rude on your part. Mate, I am so sorry. I didn't mean for it to be rude. Here, I'll give you a glass of wine on the house. Look at that. Win-win. He's told me in a nice, polite way, and he, in return, has been not really rewarded, well, yeah, I suppose so, as like an apology. How hard was that? No one gets annoyed. No one gets upset. Ah, people, people, you don't need to talk to people like they're a piece of shit. I keep harping on that in my other videos as well. But anyway, what are you going to do? The Hospitality Diaries, 